Hello, Paco here. I thought it would be fun to show you my current hammock setup. Uh, I change it all the time, but this is the current way, and I can show you the entire system from beginning to end. Of course, the setup wouldn't be complete without my hammock chair. Uh, this is just a piece of webbing attached to a carabiner that is in a loop of paracord to the sheet. Um, I've shown you a video before of this, and so you can look that up. Uh, still use the same setup, I just upgraded to actual uh, climbing carabiners. It's great for sitting down, it's great for putting equipment in it if you want to keep it off the ground. And of course, it's great for playing ukulele. Of course, the most important piece of equipment would be the hammock itself. This is my second generation hammock. It is pretty much like the first with some adjustments. Now the hammock is attached to the tree by a piece of nylon webbing. Um, it's got a loop sewn into the end and you wrap that around the tree and then that goes down to this end over here. Now I attach the carabiner to the webbing using a marlin spike hitch. Very fast, very easy to do, and it will hold no problem and then come out really easily the next day. Um, sometimes if you have a very large tree uh, you may need more than just the webbing which is why I have another loop on this end with a piece of paracord attached. Same thing, you can do a marlin spike hitch on this end as well and it will hold very nicely. Now the hammock itself is just a piece of fabric that I've gathered at the end and then I've attached a piece of paracord using a knot that I call a reverse klemheist. Uh, it's a type of prussic knot. Uh, and that just loops up and then it attaches into the carabiner. Now for my hammock I've created a faux ridge line. That's the red piece here. Um, I did this as a way to get it so I get the same curve every night no matter how far the trees are apart you always get the same curve. The reason that's important is because it keeps the underquilt about the same every night. Um, I just found it easier than trying to fiddle with the with the underquilt. The ridge line is also nice for hanging things like a flashlight above your head and that sort of thing. On the other end I've done basically the same thing but what what I've done is I made a bag that has a hole in the end that you can loop it through and then you can stuff the hammock into this bag as you are taking it up like so. One of the biggest issues when hammock camping is trying to stay warm underneath. The sleeping bag will keep you warm above, but that gets compressed underneath you, letting all the cold air rush in underneath. Um, that's why I built my own hammock quilt. This is basically a rectangle of fabric. Uh, I doubled it over, so there's two layers. Uh, and inside I have sewn some batting, uh, quilting batting. And then I have elastic right here on the ends and then I also put some elastic in the center here. The hammock quilt is attached from the quilt and goes up and then just clips into the carabiner and then that will just hold it in place. Um, what I do is I lay the hammock inside like so because of the elastic, when you lay down in the hammock, the quilt will adjust to create a seal around you, blocking out all the draft.
and then that can be adjusted as needed over the night. If you've been hammock camping for any amount of time, you know that they're one of the worst things is cold spots. Uh, those are spots that even if you have an underquilt or anything else, uh, you start to get cold in certain spots. Um, that's why I developed the what I call the Paco pads. What these are is just pieces of craft foam. I think they're, I don't know what size they are, 18 by 24 maybe, uh, 12 by 24, who knows. Um, but they're these thin pieces of, of craft foam inside these just sheets of fabric. So they fold out to different sizes and then you can layer them in the hammock any way you want to eliminate any of those cold spots. I have more than one of them at a time so that I can adjust however I feel like uh, that night. If I'm feeling one spot getting colder, like around my shoulders, I just slide this up or down and there I go. Now one of my most important pieces of kit is my blanket. Now it may not look like much, it's just a thin piece of fabric, but it can be used for multiple purposes. First thing in the morning, it can be quite lovely. Just to wrap up in it as you're watching the sunrise or just keep the wind off you or something like that. It's not completely windproof, but it will cut down on the wind. If you're out hiking on a cool day, but you don't want to bring out uh, something heavy, this is great when you're going to lay in the hammock chair for a little bit. Just drape it over the top of you and it keeps your, the front of you warm. You might still need the Paco pads on the back to keep you warm, but yeah, this is quite lovely on a cool day. I find when I'm laying in my hammock, I have to get my head adjusted just right, otherwise it's very tiring on the neck muscles. Uh, so the best way to do that is use some sort of pillow, but I don't want to bring an entire pillow just for that. So the blankie works perfect for that. You can bunch it any way you want, shift it around, adjust it, and that's what I end up using as my pillow in my hammock. And it works really nice. Once I get it right in the right position, it's so easy just to relax and go to sleep. Now I do use a commercially made sleeping bag. I just found it easier than trying to figure out how to make my own. I tried one one time, it didn't quite work, so I just figured just buy one since everything else is homemade. Of course then there's the hammock curtain. As I explained in a previous video, this will keep you a lot warmer on cold nights. Um, it also acts as a bug screen if you're worried about that, which last night I did need it. Um, it does get a little stuffy inside if you're completely covered by it. Um, so I'm going to probably eventually build a, uh, a, a netting that goes over the top of it so I can keep my head exposed while the rest of my body is covered up by it. But it really does warm things up. Um, it was quite cold last night, uh, but it got quite stuffy inside the, uh, inside the hammock curtain. Now the hammock curtain is just a rectangular piece of fabric with a loop sewn to one end. You take a piece of paracord uh, through the loop and then you tie it to the end of your hammock on one side. Then you have your two points where you tie it to your ridge line right there and down there. And then it just drapes over the top of the hammock like that as a way to keep the heat in. And this can slide up, slide back, so it's very adjustable to get just this right size pocket of air for you. So my rain fly is a hexagonal tarp uh, that I made myself, video coming soon, but basically it's a hexagonal piece of fabric, waterproof, that goes up to a ridge line that's attached to the tree and then comes down and goes all the way across and then comes down and is attached to a stake on each side. Um, I'll show you more in another video of how that is all set up. So there you have it. There's my latest hammock camping setup. I've been using it for about a year now and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, there'll be some changes that I'll be making in the future but I could easily camp like this for the next five years and I'd be comfortable. 
Now I didn't go into all the details on how to build all this equipment. Uh, I hopefully will be making some more videos soon, uh, as well as uh, all these in vid videos you can find linked in the description below. So I hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, bye.